Hi, Capricorn, here's a general look at your solar chart for February 2009. I think your mind will be focusing more this month on finances and also maybe you will be weighing things up um, and deciding what is it is in your life that makes you feel most secure, what it is in your life or who it is in your life, maybe for some of you, uh, makes you feel uh, most valued and which you most value yourself. And so it's not just about material things, but the bias of the uh, planetary energies is, is putting the focus on the material side of life um for most of february and because venus is moving into the home area from the second of the month i think i can say that the olive branch has arrived and there's going to be uh, a f more feeling of settlement within um from from then so if there's been any conflict or tension with people at home or maybe people within the community that you live in or work in, then this is going to be um, a healing uh, balm that arrives there and that can just um, soften things, balance things, harmonise things. So that's good news. And also, because this is Valentine's, uh, the, the month of St. Valentine, um, there could be somebody right in your own backyard that you strike up a romantic relationship with. And if you're in an established relationship, then that could deepen and that could become more intimate. And uh, just 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 this feeling of closeness coming in and a feeling of the defences coming down, the guard coming down, you know, taking the armour off, hanging the six guns up on the wall and saying enough. That's enough now, you know. Let's be, let's be friends. Um, and so uh, th this is this beautiful underfloor heating actually that Venus is going to bring into your life over February and beyond February as well. But that's uh, for another time. Those Capricorns that are born in the first three or four days will be feeling the undertow of Pluto, which has just entered your sign sucking you to deeper levels within yourself and you'll be feeling more sensitive you'll be seeing hidden meanings or suspecting hidden meanings um, and also uh, feeling a bit more compulsive about whoever or whatever is in your life uh, nevertheless this warm scented breeze of venus will be healing old wounds in february uh, so things fiscal will be on your mind. You could get some good news on that front uh, from the end of the first week uh, or maybe in the second week uh, uh, or particularly around the 18th. Um, and after the 15th, it's definitely a good period for you to be planning for the future um, on the level of, of your material security. Uh, so maybe you'll be corresponding about that maybe you'll be researching or listening to advice on that uh, playing with new possibilities related to finances property possessions that kind of thing and also this feeling of weighing things up going on vis-a-vis um, -vis, you know what you have as an as assets in your life and maybe tweaking plans there some of you may be developing a talent, uh, putting money into a course or getting some education for yourself or getting some new equipment in your life. Um, or perhaps uh, putting, you know, investing more in, in something which is of personal interest to you, actually putting you know, cash behind that in some way to back up an ability um, or a, a desire that you have in your life, something to underpin a project maybe that you're um, 
um, working on and um, thinking about, you know, the financial side of that. There's generally a good feeling in your financial area, actually, this year, um, uh, Capricorn, because you've got uh, the planet of, of abundance, Jupiter, in a money house. Well, uh, that doesn't need a great deal. The only thing I would say about that is be careful you're not the one who's overstretching and overreaching on the financial side of things. Um, allow the energy to flow towards you rather than away from you because the energy um, is just there and uh, it's up to how you work it, how it will work for you. Uh, Saturn, your ruling planet, has been in an area to do with uh, proving to yourself that your ideals can work. So maybe getting into situations where you know, you, you, you've had these theories and beliefs and these ideals for many years. And then since 2007, Saturn has been saying, OK, you're going to get the chance to try out some of these situations and see how you like it. <laughs> so during that, you have been learning a great deal, encountering people in a different context or people who are foreign uh, or come from a very different background to your own. And as I say, listening and learning from your experiences, learning more as well about yourself and some of those high flying ideals may have got cut down to size and maybe being replaced with a more realistic version of things. Now, after the 19th of February, you'll probably be making some new contacts there. You're going to be on the go more from from there on in. Um, people who can help you improve uh, maybe cash flow and uh, getting some good news or a piece of luck coming your re way related to a material situation could be on the cards. As I say, just be careful that you don't spend it before you get it, as it were, uh, because you are uh, sort of inclined to overestimate. Um, but there are f significant financial opportunities coming uh, your way this year, uh, Capricorn. And in February, the month of St. Valentine, we've got this lovely feeling of bonding um, on a heart level with, with nearest and dearest and people not very far away from where you're based, where you're located. So that, that's good news as well. And that's it for February. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.